फाइव सेकेंड्स टू गो स्टार्ट लिव ग्रांटेड अपील्स हियर्ड ऑन मेरिट्स द प्रजेंट अपील्स चैलेंज द जजमेंट एंड ऑर्डर डेटेड ट्वेंटी फर्स्ट मे टू थाउजेंड ट्वेंटी फोर पासड बाय द लर्नड सिंगल जज ऑफ द हाई कोर्ट ऑफ डेली एट न्यू डेली इन बेल एप्लीकेशन नंबर्स वन फाइव फाइव सेवन एंड वन फाइव फाइव नाइन ऑफ टू थाउजेंड ट्वेंटी फोर देयर बाय रिजेक्टिंग द सेड एप्लीकेशंस फाइल्ड बाय द प्रजेंट अपीलांट फॉर ग्रांट ऑफ बेल दे फोर सेट टू एप्लीकेशंस वर फाइल्ड सीकिंग बेल इन कनेक्शन विद ई डी केस रजिस्टर्ड अगेंस्ट द अपीलांट बाय द डायरेक्टोरेट ऑफ एनफोर्समेंट फोर शोर्ट ई डी एंड फर्स्ट इंफॉर्मेशन रिपोर्ट एफ आई आर ऑफ टू थाउजेंड ट्वेंटी टू रजिस्टर्ड अगेंस्ट द अपीलांट बाय द सेंट्रल ब्यूरो ऑफ इन्वेस्टिगेशन फोर शोर्ट सी बी आई सिंस बोथ द केसिस एराइज आउट ऑफ सिमिलर फैक्ट्स द लेटर बींग द प्रेडिकेट ऑफेंस and the former being a case registered on the basis of the predicate offence both these appeals are heard and decided together the present case travelled two rounds before the trial court the high court and this court this is now the third round before this court wherein the appellant is seeking bail in connection with the aforesaid two cases on the basis of a letter dated 20th july 2022 addressed by shri vinay kumar saxena the lieutenant governor of delhi alleging irregularities in the framing and implementation of delhi's excise policy for the year 2021-22 the director ministry of home affairs had directed an inquiry into the said matter wide office memorandum dated 22nd july 2022 on 26 february 2023 the appellant came to be arrested by the cbi subsequently the appellant was arrested by the ed on 9th march 2023 after investigation cbi filed charge sheet on 25th april 2023 for the offences punishable under sections Seven seven A eight and twelve of the Prevention of Corruption Act, nineteen eighty eight, for short PC Act, read with sections four hundred twenty, two hundred one, and one hundred twenty B of the Indian Penal Code, eighteen sixty, for short IPC. Upon completion of investigation, the ED filed a complaint under section three of the Prevention of Money Laundering Act, two thousand two. for short pmla on 4th may 2023 the first application for regular bail of the appellant in cbi matter came to be rejected by the high court on 30th may 2023 subsequently the first application for regular bail of the appellant in ed matter came to be rejected by the high court on 3rd july 2023 This court, wide common order dated 30th October 2023, herein after referred to as the first order of this court, rejected the regular bail applications of the appellant in the CBI matter and the ED matter with certain observations, which we will refer to in the subsequent paragraphs. Subsequently, in view of the liberty granted by this court. The appellant filed second bail application before the trial court on 27th January 2024. In the said proceedings, the appellant was granted interim protection. However, by an order dated 30th April 2024, the trial court rejected the said bail application on the ground that there was no change in the circumstances. the appellant thereafter filed second bail application before the high court on 2nd may 2024 wide impugned judgment and order dated 21st may 2024 the learned single judge of the high court rejected the said bail application also being aggrieved thereby 
the appellant had approached this court by filing special leave petition criminal numbers 7795 and 7799 of 2024 stop